Hey guys, welcome to another episode of AK Prospecting. So today, what we're going to talk about is um, how I separate my parts and how I do things. So it's winter time, everything's frozen, so I'm not able to get out and find any hard rock gold or any placer gold. And also being in New England, it's uh, trial and error. It's a lot of boots on the ground, a lot of walking and exploring, um, looking for things. And uh, we've come across one spot that uh, has potential. Um, I did a roast in my last video and on the smelt I actually messed up unfortunately I hate to admit it but yep messed up on the smelt and uh, lost out on that batch but I kept the kept the slag from it so I'm gonna grind that up and in my next process when we grind up some more rock we'll uh, we'll get it right next time and get some gold out of them sulfides um, but um, right now we do have rock to process but it's cold outside so it's best to see what you can get done inside and we got a lot of material to process. And now that we got some time, it's time to get busy and do it to it. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got. Okay, so right here I got uh, all the CPUs. Is uh, I save up right here. And there's different types of CPUs. Is you have uh, these ceramic CPUs. These are definitely a higher grade gold content. Um, these CPUs are, you know, pretty serious. And uh, just one thing I wanted to mention, I've been praying to God for a long time to bless me with a gold mine so I could, you know, have my own little cabin and mine gold and do this, that, and the other thing. And it dawned on me, I was like, you know what, a good gold mine will produce one ounce per ton. You know, that's that's the what's, you know, been said. So I would have to say that, you know, electronics would, you know, depending on your material, would be a little bit higher than one ounce per ton. So, you know what? God blessed me with a gold mine. It's just not what I had in mind. And, you know, so I can't complain. I'm very thankful for the gold he has provided. And uh, hopefully one day we will actually be able to get it from Mother Earth instead of, you know, getting it from electronics. But either way, it's still a lot of fun and it's a good time. But back to how we separate things. So these are the CPUs. These guys right here are ceramic. I separate those um, differently than I would uh, a fiber uh, CPU. So these get separated um, and processed differently than the ceramic ones. But I just toss them all in one deal until they're ready to be processed. And then I had just on a quick deal, I was outside and I didn't have just toss these in there. So I got to pull these back out of there. These are uh, pins that um, have to be, uh, the gold has to be taken off of these, um, all these pins. Then uh, now what we have here is hard gold foils. Uh, these are uh, this is ram, all ram sticks. Now I just want to give you guys and I just let you know that these ram sticks here. All right, uh, just which ram stick do you think contains more gold, the left one or the right one? If you said the right one, you are correct. Believe it or not, these little bad boys, they're uh, loaded. They actually have more than these guys. These are a higher silver content than these. So when I process these chips, I process these separate from these. A lot of guys will process them all together. Um, I try to keep things in, uh, keep things from getting all mixed up because it becomes a, a bigger process at the end. So we try to avoid steps if possible to kind of simplify it as we go. Um, so definitely separate these guys if you're going to do your chips. Uh, put these separate from these. Like I said, these ones here are basically like a, a tiny BGA. And these pack a wallop. So these are definitely worth keeping to the side. And uh, so now what happens is I will actually go ahead and I will cut these right off of here. Right off of this side. Just like that. Um, but now I have a new process that... Now I won't even need to cut these anymore. I will be able to just take the whole thing, toss it in the sauce, and the sauce will pull this gold off, and then I'll be able to keep the whole card and then pop these off at a later date. Um, but how what I've been doing is I've been cutting them and throwing them in here. And so basically anything with a hard gold foil, whether it be a cell phone, uh, any type of, you know, contact things like that uh, any hard gold foils that are, are solid and worthy of you know putting in here uh, I put in here so th what's great about this is I'll be able to just chuck all this right in the sauce swish it around like this is a lot this is a very light light gold foil that's borderline uh, uh, enig e now enig gold is different than hard foil 
that stuff comes off real easy. Uh, basically, uh, Eni Gold is this stuff here. Just so you guys know the difference. It's not the same hard gold foil that you would see. This stuff here, uh, it's like an it's like an electro plate. It's a very thin uh, gold. So this stuff right here is you, you want to process separately. Like you could process a lot of these and you really didn't get nothing. You need a lot to get it, get anything out of these guys. Okay? So boom, that's gold foils. That's one type of gold foil. Now, say you're dealing with a lot of stuff. Now we got some buckets here, right? You're saying, Ken. You got two buckets. What are we doing here? Oh my gosh, it looks like I can't understand it, can't figure it out. So this is where we have to simplify the process. Because again, we have a lot of different types of computer parts. And when we go to, um, you know, disarm them or dismantle them, we want to make sure that we can dismantle these in the proper way. So everything is separated by piece. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, um, pin slash um, IC chip bucket. So now you'll see this board has chips on it, right? Now your chips that you're gonna wanna pay attention to here are these guys. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I think you got some bet another on the back, yep. And you got uh, th these guys here. Some guys will yeah, and then these guys still have a heat sink on them. Whenever you see a little heat covering, it's safe to say that there's a precious metal in there. Sometimes you'll there'll have be a little window you can see inside there and see the gold. But all these get popped off. All right, and then you got a gold ribbon here, and then you have your gold pins there. So this entire bucket is gold pins, gold plated, and chips. So anything that's gold plated and has a um, computer chip on it is going to be in this box say I want to say you know what I'm going to take a day and I want to do just computer chips I'd come to this bucket here and I get busy with just popping off the chips and I'll show you how we do that it happens pretty quickly all right so now on to gold foils now you're taking your computers apart let's say you're taking towers apart now you're going to have these cards um, these you know image slot cards that are you know have these huge copper sinks now some of these will have an IC uh, a, like a a heavy chip right on them but you can see how we have gold foil there right so these have to be cut off I I pop these off I have a special cutter that goes right on the end I just cut them right off and so I take all those um, because they're just too big and bulky to put in the sauce and you don't want to have a huge mess but, you know, you can see these have the big, you know, copper coil. They got the chip on them. You know, these are pretty expensive. Uh, you can see the, the foils. So we just pop the foils off. And now we get down to, you know, communication cards. You see the telephone wire there, the LAN pins. And you got more uh, hard gold foils. And then also, you got chips on these. So once I take the foils off of here these then go into the chip pin bucket for uh, chip processing so I have a bucket here full of these uh, RAM cards with the hard gold foils on them and so we got hard gold foils bucket of RAM and trim fingers uh, a one pound coffee can container let's see here I believe that's one pound. Yeah, that's a one pound container. Full. Of uh, trimmed fingers. Okay. And now let's see what else we got to show you. Okay, guys. This is the first run of 2023. I'm going to try to process this coffee, this one pound coffee can of gold foils. Uh, we got various you know, uh, hard foils in here. The, this particular board is from an um, old touch screen phone. We got a lot of those in there. And then um, we've got some really big, heavy gold plated stuff. So, and then I got gold ribbon to drop it down a notch. So now, 
Um, this is my first time using this method, guys. I'm gonna just let you know right now. I'm really gonna do my best. Um, I'm gonna try to simplify this process for you guys. Hopefully I can recover the gold. Hopefully I don't evaporate it or do something stupid and lose it again. So here we go. I got a uh, 1,000 milliliter beaker and a 500 milliliter beaker and a big plastic stir, solid core plastic stir. Um, this is what I'm going to be using. Uh, use what you got, right? So now, because I only have a thousand milliliter flask, because that's my biggest flask, what I really need is a, a vacuum flask. Uh, a big, you know, either 1500 milliliter or 2000 milliliter uh, vacuum flask um, and the pump to come off the side, because I really think that would speed the process up greatly. So um, when I get some money saved up, That'll be my next purchase is to get a flask uh, with the pump, the tube, so I can start processing um, better and make these videos a little quicker. So I'm trying to make a process. I've been working on this for like five years to try to simplify a gold process for everybody at home. Um, so it's, you know, you don't need to be a, a chemist to, to go after this stuff. I'm trying to do it to where anybody, any anybody could do it. So I hooked up with this company called, uh, well, I'm not hooked up with them. I bought their product. Um, it's a reagent. Um, it's called Eco Gold X, and we're going to give it a shot. Now, um, they recommend 50 grams per one liter. Well, I'm not going to mix up all that in my flask because then that doesn't leave me any room for moving stuff around. So we're going to do a small batch and see what we can do out of that first. So, we're going to start off with this 500 milliliter flask. Um, so, since it says 50 grams per liter, we're going to use 25 milligrams of Gold X in this 5 milliliter beaker. Now, basically, we take some warm water, the powder, we stir it around, then we have to filter the solution out to get any impurities out, so we're just stuck with just the liquid. Um, Again, you want to do this stuff outside. You don't want to get it on your hands. It's nasty stuff. Um, it's way safer than nitric acid, though. So um, it's uh, eco-friendly. It's um, some type of leaching agent. Again, it's a chemical. Um, yes, it's a lot safer than all these other processes. But again, be careful. Um, you know, do this at your own risk. I'm no professional. This is my first go at it. So we'll see how we do. Okay, here we are guys. Uh, this is the stuff I was talking about. The Eco Gold X. This is the stuff that uh, I'm going to be trying out to do my gold recovery. They also sell an O series, which I'm going to be trying out because uh, to run my sulfides through. Because um, I got a lot of hard rock stuff to crush and we're going to see how, how this works. So, give me one second and let's get some stuff measured up. Okay guys, so this is what we got here. We got, I'm going with 26 grams and 500 milliliters. Now they suggest 50 grams per one liter, but I want to do half that batch. And basically here I got some lukewarm water, right? And now I'm going to pour this into, into that jar. Okay guys, now we got 25 grams of the Eco Gold X E Series in a 500 milliliter flask. Now we're gonna fill this bad boy up. And this is just uh, hot tap water. You know, I can touch it, not burning me. It's just regular tap water. I don't have my laser thermometer, so I couldn't tell you. I'm just doing all this by feel. So they say the hotter you get it, the more it precipitates, but I'm not really looking for speed right now. I'm just looking to do it to it. Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna stir it up. They said the Eco Gold X will dissolve in warm water, so we're gonna see if that's true. There's a lot of rocks and a lot of funky stuff in there. So they said it eventually it will dissolve.
the more you dissolve, the stronger it's going to be. Okay guys, so I'm going to stir this up and then we'll get ready to do the filtration process. Okay, so now we're going to filter the solution. Uh, I mixed it all up. And one thing I want to let you guys know is there's a lot of stuff in the bottom. You know, eventually it dissolves. But I'm trying to do a kind of a quick process here. So what I've done is I took a neodymium magnet and I put it on the bottom here to suck up any of the particles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this in there and we'll let it filter out. Okay, we're filtering the solution. See how much clearer that is. That's before, and the one in the back is after. The one in the back is the one we're looking for. So I just did a regular coffee filter. That's why I need to get a vacuum filter, because uh, things would be a lot quicker. So, we'll filter this out. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're probably about, let's say, 45 minutes into filtration. And uh, that's the left, what's left in there. You can see all that black iron sediment in there. And with the neodymium magnet, I was able to pull a lot of iron stuff out of that mix. So the reason you want to filter it is you don't want your solution contaminated with sludge. So that when you go to uh, do your precipitation, um, it, you know, it's a lot easier for you. So here's our solution, we're almost there. Uh, we're gonna get to our 500 milliliters and then we will start to strip some gold. All right, so we'll be back when we're ready for that part. Okay guys, we got our solution filtered. And you can see it's nice and clear. Now they suggest the hotter it is, the quicker you're gonna strip your gold. But right now I'm not really worried about Heat. I did put this on the wood stove and I also did put my gold products on the wood stove now in here I kind of sent it a little bit this jar was gonna be just straight primarily gold pins but I got some uh, broke up CPUs and like again this is just an experiment to see what I can do I got various uh, different plated stuff in there I, what is that that better not be aluminum all right let me uh, go through this and make sure there's no aluminum in here nothing stupid and now uh, we'll be right back Okay guys, it wasn't aluminum, it was actually a, a, a memory card. So what's cool about this, this Eco Gold X is you can, it doesn't matter if it's got uh, stuff on it. It'll go, it'll just, you know, it works on just the gold and the silver. So here we go. Let's pour it in there and see what we do. Now everybody sees the gold now. Let's see what happens when I put this stuff in it. Okay, now they suggest aggravating it. Agitating it, but I call it aggravating. They want you to really aggravate it. You're supposed to call it names and really put it down to get it, the gold to come off. So, here we go. Come on, stupid. Retard. No, I'm only kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> here we go. No, I'm only kidding. I didn't mean to say retard. No. Okay, here we go. Let's see how we got going on here. Oh! I still oh, 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 got a little leakage. Sorry, guys. Pause. Okay, guys, look at this. Look at that. Look at that pin is clear already, dude. What? Let me see. Now, they say you're supposed to aggravate it.
Wow! Dude, this is crazy, guys. Look at how much gold just come off of that. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to shake this up, and uh, we'll be right back. But this is, look, look how quick it took the gold off, man. That, that, that's quick. Look at Look at that CPU. Gold gone. That was quick, man. That's like, that was like less than a minute, man. And I don't know if anybody's out there familiar with AP, but yo, them days are over. So let me do this, and I'll be back. Okay guys, we've left this in here and it's literally been in there maybe seven minutes tops and you can see the color of that. Now all we gotta do is pour it out. I'm gonna use my other hand because this hand's got a wound. Look at that, guys. I just got to rinse it a little bit, but look at that. It's all clear. There's not a drop of gold on it. Let me rinse this out, and we'll get to the next one. All right, just to give you guys an idea on this stuff. All right, I had this literally in there. Uh, the temperature was, you know, I'd say probably 50, 60 degrees, maybe 70. But it's like, that's literally... All that's left. Let's see if I can zoom in. I mean, there's a little bit on there, but not much. I'll go through this and pull any of these stuff out of here. But we're talking about literally a 90% recovery out of all that product. Now, I got some chips in there. I got the foils. Because you're supposed to start out, when you're using this stuff, you're supposed to start out with your heavy gold pins first. And then you move down to the foils because they're a lighter. But look at that, guys. Six minutes, man. Look at that. What? Dude, that's crazy. This could be a game changer. I'm not going to get my hopes up. But, I mean, six minutes. Look at that. Now all this base metal I can, you know, resell. So let's go see how our, uh, how our gold foils are working out. All right, guys, getting a little bit late in the day. The sun's getting ready to go down. Now I moved on to the gold foils. And you can see it looks like it stopped pulling the gold off. Which is all right, because I can still reprocess this stuff, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to leave it in here for a little while longer. I really want to make sure that oh, this stuff is exhausted of all stuff so we'll see what 500 milliliters can recover when it's 100 percent saturated with gold so we'll be back all right guys i just wanted to show you how strong this stuff is i now i ran the gold pins and i also now i'm on to some uh electronic gold plating now this came off a fan all right now if you can see it's copper in the middle and it's and it's got like a, a gold electro gold plating on the fins the center's copper but the electric the outside is like a gold plating so now what i'm gonna do just to show you how, how how quick this stuff works see the difference here's the copper and here's the gold ready i'm just gonna do this swish it around 
because they have you have to exhaust the solution to make sure that no more gold it can precipitate no more gold because if you don't exhaust the solution you're gonna have a really hard time getting the gold to come out look at that the gold is almost gone and this is in real time too we're literally at one minute nine seconds Look at that guys, the gold is gone. Look at that, you see the, the, this side, the right side, the gold's completely gone. How crazy is that? All right, now we're gonna do the other side. And then I'll show you guys another chunk I got. Okay, there's the gold, right? Let's see if we get a, a good shot there. There's the gold. And this, this temperature of this sauce is probably 70, 60 to 70 degrees. Look at that guys, gone. The plating is gone. Yo man, that's a game changer dude. Look at that man, it's amazing. So obviously this still has some stripping power, so you gotta let it let it sit until it can't strip no more. So we'll be back. <laughs> 